Hi, this is Peter with CalcBook, and today we're going to be looking at a concrete rectangular beam design, um, specifically looking at flexure and shear utilizing metric units. So if we do a quick recap of concrete, concrete design for, uh, for flexure and shear here. So for flexure, right, just a reminder that uh, for our analysis purposes, right, plane sections remain plane. The strain and the reinforcement is equal to the strain in the concrete and the stress is computed uh, using the stress strain curves for concrete steel. So, right, this is our kind of typical singly reinforced section. Right, this is our strain distribution with dimension C to our neutral axis. Then this is our stress distribution, right? So our stress in the steel and our stress in the uh, concrete there, the equivalent stress, uh, equivalent concrete stress block. And then we have our internal forces, right? So our compression on the concrete and our tension in the steel. And then we look at shear, right? Shear failures um, vary widely depending on the d dimensions or the geometry, the loading, and that sort of thing. But if we uh, think about a slender rectangular section, right, which is what our beam is going to be like, um, we typically have shear cracks that occur at 45 degrees near beam supports. So, right, if you look at the supports there, we have some shear cracks, and then in the middle span or uh, directly over the support of a continuous support, we get flexure, sh flexure cracks. Um, and this is just a representative image, right, of some testing. And you can see the 45 degree cracks there um, at each of the supports, and then some uh, vertical flexure cracks there on the bottom uh, at mid span. So let's take a look at our problem statement, right? We're going to be doing this in accordance with ACI 318 19M. So that's for metric. Um, we have a rectangular beam section with width 250 millimeters, uh, the height is 600 millimeters. We have three 20 millimeter diameter longitudinal bars. And we have 12 millimeter diameter uh, at 300 millimeter spacing uh, shear reinforcement. We have a clear cover to the bottom um, of 75 millimeters. Our uh, properties, we have uh, the strength of concrete of 28 MPA and the reinforcement yield strength of 500 MPA. And our ultimate demands, right, we've already calculated uh, from an analysis model or some, some other form of calculation. Uh, we have an ultimate moment of 195 kilonewton meters and an ultimate uh, shear load of 125 kilonewtons. So let's go ahead and open up CalcBook and we'll get started on the design. All right, we've got CalcBook open now, so we can go ahead and click into our concrete design module. Uh, we're going to be doing a concrete member design and we're going to be looking at flexure and shear. Uh, I want to go ahead and toggle over here to metric units and then we'll select flexure and shear and click confirm to go ahead and load that up. So let's go ahead and start with some of our inputs here. Um, we are not going to be doing a beam analysis, right? We've already got our, our maximum moment in shear, so we'll do user entered. And then we're not going to be using any load combinations because we already have uh, the factored loads, the ultimate loads. So none there um, allows us to just directly enter the values on each of the design tabs. Um, our shape here, right, we just have a typical single uh, reinforced concrete rectangular beam. Uh, we do offer, right, a T-beam, and then we can do, uh, you know, various uh, or uh, uh, layouts of, of longitudinal reinforcement with uh, double layers on the bottom and then single and double layers on the top as well. So there is that option if you have that type of beam. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and update our shape dimensions, right? For the beam height, we have 600 milliliter, uh, millimeters. For the beam width, we've got 250 millimeters. Our clear cover is 75 millimeters, so we'll leave that as is. The side, we'll leave that as is as well. Um, we are starting out with three uh, 20 millimeters, so we'll leave that as is. We have 500 uh, megapascals yield strength, so we'll leave that as is. Our shear reinforcement is 12 millimeters uh, diameter, uh, spaced at 300 millimeters, so we'll just adjust this slightly to 300, and then the same yield strength. And then for our uh, material values here, our concrete is correct at 28 megapascals, and then uh, we can leave everything else as is. So let's go ahead and toggle over to our flexure design, and we'll go ahead and enter in our demand, which is going to be 195 kilonewton meters. Right, and we are exactly uh, at, let's see here, at 0 0.99. So this is a, a, a perfect design here. Um, so let's go ahead and step through the calculation and uh, we can take a look at some, some of the capacities here. So our uh, positive flexural strain diagram, right? We wanna first find our depth to the steel reinforcement. So we take the total height of our beam, subtract off our clear cover, subtract off the shear reinforcement and then half of our, of our longitudinal bars. Right, we can solve our depth uh, to the equivalent stress block there for concrete, so that depth A. Right, we solve for our beta 1. We find where our neutral axis is based on those two values. 
We can solve for our strain in the in the, the reinforcement and the concrete, and then that can tell us uh, what our uh, strength reduction factor is. So in that case, we're at 0 0.9. Then we check our minimum area of steel. And then we can solve for our flexural capacity uh, with our ASFY times D minus A over 2. And we have 196 kilonewton meters, uh, where our demand is 195 kilonewton meters. So we are OK on flexure. If we toggle over to shear, right, we need to enter in our demand here, which is going to be 125 kilonewtons. And then we can also step through our capacity calculation here. So again, we solve for our depth to the, to the uh, longitudinal reinforcement. We figure out what our nominal concrete strength is in shear. We figure out what our steel uh, shear capacity is. And then we can add those two together to figure out what our overall beam uh, shear capacity is. And so we have a total shear capacity of 227 kilonewtons, and our design is only 125. So we have a DC ratio of 0 0.55. So uh, for both flexure and shear, we are acceptable, and this, des this design does work. Um, so that is a concrete beam design in metric units in CalcBook. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have comments or questions or want to see other designs, please let us know in the, in the comments below. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time.